Hey Drew, it's Billiff here, and today I'm back with the 27th episode of my FIFA 21 career mode with Barrow, and today we're kicking off with an EFL trophy match in the third round against Salford City. This is who I'm going to be going with, it's a bit of a mix of first team and second team players. I'm also giving Hasegawa his debut just by moving from the Youth Academy, so hopefully he can perform well. So, let's play this game against Salford and hopefully I can get to the next round of the EFL trophy. Okay, that's a new glitch. I don't think that's meant to happen, is it? Nope, it's not meant to happen. So, a new update's come out today, and it looks like there's another glitch to add to the pile that have already been in career mode, to be honest. Oh, he's actually managed to tackle court there. Going to bring Barbaris out a bit, and he's hit the post there. Got lucky there. Got away with one. Want to get Hasegawa with his first chance to touch the ball. It's going to play over to him. It's a good ball from Rude. Hasegawa's got the chance to run with the ball now. I see Freese at the back post. Not a bad ball to him. Freese is going to head it, though, and it's going to go over the bar. That's a good ball by Conway. And I can get it through to Hasegawa. Hasegawa's in on goal here. Chance to score on his debut. And Hasegawa does that. It's a good finish into the top corner. And that is a debut goal for Hasegawa, who's only been with the first team probably under a week since I've been since I promoted him from the Youth Academy. So that's a really good moment for the young lad here. And that is a good finish. And that is 1-0. That's a good ball in. They've got the header there. Barbaris makes the save. And they've got the rebound. It's hit the post, I think. That should be one all, to be honest. I just cannot get the ball away here. And Ray has the shot and he goes wide. That was lucky. One of Roma's to make the run down the line here. Hasegawa can slip it to him. He's just not quite got inside the defender. And that is half time. And we are leading 1 0. Salford have hit the woodwork a couple of times. So maybe a little bit lucky to be 1 0 up. But. I'm not complaining. I'm happy to be leading at the break. Put the ball in there and Aroma Zora can clear it. And Rude might be able to win this. And he just about has and he can run with it here. Might not get very far. We can slip it through to Roberts there. That's well timed. Roberts is on side. And I can see Hasegawa running in there. But Roberts is going to go alone. And that is a really nice goal from Roberts. Curls it into the top corner. And that is now 2-0 to Barrow. Just cuts it back on the defender. I was thinking about passing it, but then I thought, nah, he's going to go for goal himself here and just finesses it. It's not actually as good of a finish as I thought it was at first, but it goes over the keeper and that is 2-0 now. And I like, it's nice to see they still haven't fixed the issue with the manager's kits in this update, even though I'm pretty sure it said they had. It's a good block from Conway there on the shot. Oh, Barcola can't get that there. I've just brought Barcola on to try and shore up the midfield a bit, improve it defensively, and he's just missed that header to give Salford away back into the game. What was McKinnon doing there? He's just celebrating by his own for a Salford goal. What's he doing? Oh, they've clipped it over me there, and that was... He's just completely done Conway there. Just flicked it over me and completely taken him out of the game, and that is now 2 all. Just that flick over Conway there takes him out of the game and then Barbaris should be saving that, I'm not going to lie. Ball into the box. That's a good save from Barbaris at point-blank range. The Sulphur player never should have got to it. Aroma's already should have dealt with it, but Barbaris has saved that there well. We're now over the stoppage time, so I just need to get the ball away to end this game here. Just I'm spamming B. And then that is clear. That is full time. And now I think we're going to go to extra time. Oh, we're not going to extra time. We're going straight to a penalty shootout. Okay, these are going to be the first penalties I've taken in this career mode because I've somehow managed to play, what, 70-ish games, I reckon, in this career mode now and not had a penalty. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit lucky to have not lost that game as it is. So hopefully I can win this from the spot. Oh, Barcola's put the first penalty wide. That was not good from Barcola. But then they've put the penalty even further wide. So, got out of jail there a bit. Chance to go 1-0 up now with uh, Arroyo Mazzora. And the keeper has saved it. Now they've got the second penalty. Ian Henderson steps up. Barbaris goes the right way and Barbaris saves it. So, no goals so far in either, any of these penalties. Dawoodi's going to go for the bottom right here. And Dawoodi does score the first penalty of this shootout. Now Andrade runs up, takes a penalty, but he clips it wide. Salford have missed that penalty. Now Fries has the chance to score here. Going to go to the bottom left again like I did with Barcola's. And it's gone yellow and the keeper's made a good save there. Hopefully I can save this shot now. And it's gone over. I've not even needed to save it. I think... I just need to score this with McKinnon and I get through to the next round. Come on, Lewis, you can do this. Lewis McKinnon, 
steps up, hits that shot, and he puts us in to the next round of the EFL Trophy. What an awful penalty shootout. Two shots out of nine scored, I think, there. Salford missing all four of them. But I don't care how poor the penalty shootout was. I have won it, and we are into the next round of the EFL Trophy. Right now, we've got the second game of the episode here against 22nd place Fleetwood Town. So, hopefully, I can win this game because Fleetwood are right near the bottom of the table. But considering this is FIFA and how this season's gone, I'm not going to be too confident just as of yet. But I am back to a full first team for this game. Not fully fit. Dawoodi and Aroma Zora are a little bit tired, but everyone else pretty much fully fit. So, let's get into this game against Fleetwood. One hard just running down the line here. Vaquero has been able to slip it through to him. Now, he can get him behind the defender, can he? He can. He's going to pull it back to Hargest here. Oh, for Kero. Even Kero's going to have the shot. But it's been easily saved. Oh, Pavlov's been taken out there. And it means they've been able to get the ball into the box because no one can get to that rebound after Pavlov's tackle. But the header has gone wide. Oh, that's a penalty, isn't it? Yep. Shouldn't have made that tackle there. That was my fault. Definite penalty. Right, we came up against a few penalties in the last game after the penalty shootout, so hopefully I can save this one. And they continue Salford's trend of missing the penalties. I don't even need to save it. Oh, it's got a ball into the box in a good position. And Madden hits it wide. And Fleetwood are on top here. I need to get a bit of control of this game. I see Dawoodi making that run on the right. I'm going to play it to him McKinnon. That's a good ball. Go try and get it back into McKinnon with a cross. McKinnon can just about get to it. And I thought that was going to drop into the net. That is half time and it is nil nil against Fleetwood and I think I've got to be honest I'm a little bit lucky to go in level at the break I probably should be losing this game but they have got the ball back in now I thought they were going to shoot there so I slid in with uh, court and they have shot and they've hit the side netting I am getting lucky here with these chances Fleetwood have had so many and not scored any of them All right Dawoodi's making this run down the right going to play it to him with Fries. just get him in behind the defence McKinnon is open. Going to try and play it to him. That's a good ball. McKinnon is there. And Barrow have gone 1-0 up now. And you've got to say, it is against the run of the play. Fleetwood have been the better team. But do you think I care about that? Of course I don't. I'm just happy to be 1-0 up. It's a good ball from Dawoodi. And a good finish from McKinnon. They've got the ball into the box here. I couldn't get across. And that is one all, and it's all Fleetwood deserved. They've been putting on so much pressure. I just can't get. I just couldn't get the ball away from my defence. I kept playing it out, and Fleetwood just kept winning it back every second ball, and they kept bringing it forward. And that is one all, and I can't be annoyed about that. Fleetwood have been the better team, and it's all they've deserved. They've given the ball away here, and Fries can bring it forward, try and get McKinnon through, then play a reverse ball to him. McKinnon is in here. McKinnon can shoot. And McKinnon puts it into the top corner. And in the 89th minute, we take the lead again against Fleetwood. We have struggled so much in this game defending. Fleetwood have put us under so much pressure. pressure but their lack of clinicity. That's not a word. Hey, Siri. Clinicity. Is the scrimmage a Norwich City podcast? Well, that's not what I asked for, is it? <laughs> Their lack of clinical finishing has cost them because we have gone 2-1 up here after they've had so many chances. Well, that's full-time, got to be. Ref. Ref. Thank you. That is full-time, and we do win 2-1, and I wanted to win at the start of the game, but considering how the game went, it's a result I'm even more happy with now because Fleetwood definitely deserve to win that game. Right now we've got the third game of the episode here against 15th place Oxford United. I'm going with the full first team again and they are fully fit this time. So let's get straight into this game and hope we can get a good result. We've got the ball into the box here. Roman was all with a really good block there to intercept the pass. Now we might be able to counter. Vaquero can play through to Hargis there. Hargis has to take it a little bit wider to get past the defender. But he's taking it wide and then Freeze at the back post. Freeze can come in on it and gets the header off. And that is 1-0 on the counter after that interception from Arroyo Mazzora. And Free scores a header at the back post from that Hargest cross. Celebrating in front of them Barrow fans. And now that is 1-0. Got the ball into a good position here. Pavlov misses that tackle. They have the shot and Barbaris makes a good save. Got the ball in a good position there. And they've hit the base of the post with that shot. Right, that is half time and we are winning 1-0 and I think that's deserved. We've been pretty decent so far in this first half, so I'm happy with the 1-0 scoreline. They got the ball in a good position here. Daudi can't slide in to make the block there and that is now one all. Oaks have been putting on a bit of pressure and there's another Ray. 
I've been terrorised by Ray this episode. Dawoodi's running down the right wing here, going to play it to him. He's got plenty of space to run into. Vaquero's coming in on the edge. Vaquero's going to have that shot there and he's dragged it wide. And that is full time and we do draw one all against Oxford. A bit unlucky to draw there, I think, but not a bad result. Right now, we've got the final game of the episode here against 21st place Northampton Town. And I'm hoping I can win this game because they are low in the league. But if it's anything like the Fleetwood game, it's going to be a difficult game. Still going with the first team here. So let's get into this game against Northampton. That's a ball across there. And Smith has put that wide. That should be 1-0 to Northampton there. The Romans are just running down the line with it here. No real challenge on him. So I've kept going. Going to put a ball in now to the back post to Freese and he's headed it over the bar. Oh, it's my 100th match in charge of Barrow today. So apparently I was wrong earlier when I said 70. But running down the line with Freese here. Chance to clip it into McKinnon. Can't get the head on it. Just going to run it down the line with Freese here. They seem to be weaker down the wings. So I'm just going to run it down the wing. Hodges is at the back post. Going to put it in early to him. Have a header there and he's headed it. When I, I should have held LT to make sure he volleyed it. Because that was a poor header. Ball down the line to Hargest here. I think I'm going to just try the same thing again. Run it into the box and then cross it. Unless I can go for a pullback here to McKinnon. McKinnon has that shot into the right-hand side of the goal. And looked like a sweeped finish. Or a swept finish with his left foot. Just sweeps it into the left-hand side, uh, the right-hand side of the goal. It's a good finish from McKinnon. And that is 1-0 going down the flanks like we have been doing all game. And I think it's what we deserve, to be honest. Got the ball to freeze here right before half time. And I think they're going to allow the attack to happen. So I'm just going to put a ball into the box. And it has gone out of play. And that is half time. And we are winning 1-0. And I think it's completely deserved. And it probably should be more than one. Freeze is running through there. Vaquero can clip it over to him. Going to hit it first time with Freeze. Oh, my God. What a header from Freeze. That was meant to be a volley. But what a header. That is not something I expected. Now, Freeze, two games in a row, scoring a header. And that one is very impressive. Way more spectacular than the first. It's, it's basically outside the box. It's very much on the edge of the box. Might be outside, but goes right over the keeper. So much power on it. And that is 2-0 to Barrow. Dwoody's going to clip the ball over to McKinnon there. McKinnon is onside. Absolutely bodies a player there. Chance to run around with the ball here. Going to run it to the edge of the box and then hit a shot. And it's going to go towards the top corner. And that's a good save by the keeper. Well played by McKinnon there. And we got the corner now. Uh, what? I just changed my corner taker to Rude and it's gone back to Freeze for some reason. So hopefully it stays on Rude this time. Going to take that corner. Gone to the back post. The Royal Missouri can get his head to it and it has flicked the side netting on its way out of play. And that is full time. We have won 2-0 and it's a result that I'm very happy with. The first three games of this episode were quite difficult games, but that one quite comfortable. Maybe should have won more than 2-0, but Northampton didn't really create much, so I never really had to worry about losing that game, I don't think. Right, that is the end of this episode, after an episode where we haven't been beaten. Got through to the next round of the AFL Trophy, and I think we picked up 7 points in the league, so that's good. And it has moved us up to 11th place in the league. And we are now only 6 points away from the playoffs, so hopefully I can push on towards that towards the end of the season. Have a late season playoff push again like last season. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you want to carry on watching this series, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.